Okay, so you start with some kindling. Josh, what is it that you're making again? Is this being built? Yes. I am making a rocket stove. What happened is we are on a little trip and I brought these, I'll show you, these little alcohol stoves here. Basically, you put some alcohol in them, you light it, and it starts, if you can see the holes, it starts to actually burn up, and they work really well for cocaine stuff. Um, the only thing you need, though, is alcohol, denatured alcohol. I'll go a little bit more into an alcohol stove in a different, in a different video, but um, I actually, it looks like I'm almost out of alcohol. I did not bring enough, so what does a survivalist do? Um, so I decided to make a rocket stove, a little wood rocket stove. Um, I didn't have anything with this. This isn't even ours. We found this around this campfire right here. And then this little tuna can type thing. What I'm going to do is I'm cutting out this little stove. I've already started a little bit for this little can. I'm just cutting out, and it's actually already been burned, so it actually makes it a little bit easier to cut. Um, and you just kind of go around it, cut this out, and it actually probably works better if I had two regular sized cans, um, but this is what I found and what I've got, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay. If you don't know, we are in Clear Creek, and this is a, it's a great um, canyon, kind of by Flagstaff, Arizona, um, kind of by show location, it's probably the closest bigger city up here, maybe Winslow, um, but we are just kind of in a really cool cavern, and actually we just saw some people repel from this wall right over here we saw some people repel this wall and I actually have a video of that so I will post it on the website and they just we're just hanging out here um, just ate and get ready to mix fire and they come down just kind of throw a rope down didn't even tell us they were coming it was pretty cool um, so now I've gotten this and basically it's just a ring is all I've gotten a little ring. What I'm going to do, I can't really, I can do what I can do. So I'm going to cut this out, try to cut it close to the same size. It's a little cockeyed and not really correct. So I'm going to do what I can do with it. Make another hole in this one. And this is just, as you can see, an old, old knife. And this um, can has also been burned. So that helps and makes it a little bit easier to cut here. And, and we're hoping to be able to cook on this. tough to get it started in some of these places, but gotta do what you gotta do. So you kind of cut this around. This is definitely not the best rocket stove I've ever seen. And so you're kind of making it, it's real easy to break this off. Okay, still a little too small, so we're going to keep cutting it out, 
until we can fit this other one inside of it. And as you can see, it's nothing pretty at all. But this will be a decent stove, hopefully. Because it is what we got. Still not fitting. And try to make it as tight as possible. There's a couple little spots I need to cut out here. This, like I said, is not going to be the most beautiful rocket stove, but it should work. Just a tad bit more off of here, and we should be good to go. And just push a little bit. And like I said, two regular size. Um, Two regular size cans would probably be the best. Okay, so now basically you have something that looks like this. It's really easy to build. Just kind of get as close as you can on the edges so it doesn't have too much uh, too much play in there, too much um, stuff coming around. Really cheesy looking but we're hoping it works. And then basically, all you're gonna do is you're going to, this is kindling, just some small stuff. You want this to get it started. Kind of push that in there. And then we're just gonna find some little sticks around here. Just anything you can find off the ground. Little guys are what you want. You just kind of break them up. It's gonna be just a little tiny stove that you just push everything in and you start it up. Um, let's see here. And we'll see if we can boil a little bit of water to make some coffee or tea or whatever in your food. So really in a, in a pinch this can work. Like I said, I didn't bring enough fuel, which was really dumb, but we're gonna try to make this work. So. See, gonna keep it as safe as possible. Just put it right there, and then we'll just kind of fill it with pieces of wood, like I've been doing. Just keep filling. You do want a little bit of air to come in the bottom here, so don't fill it too far. Um, you can put it in from the top here, and what we want to do is just get some air here. And so that it can actually start boiling water. From here, I'm gonna go get some water. And I'm gonna get a lighter. Because I do have a lighter with me. And we'll see if we can make this work. All we need to do right now is just boil some water. So, we're gonna try it out. This was something I just thought about about 10 minutes ago when I saw these two. Um, these two little cans sitting there. So I'm just gonna put some regular water. I used my um, water purifier for this. I have an MSR Mini Works, which I love. And I'm actually gonna do a review on that, which it is definitely a good review, because I've had good luck with it. So basically we're just trying to get everything lit. It might take a little while. It's gonna, like you see, start smoking quite a bit. If I can get, this is actually the worst part, this thing. Is, these are pretty much junk. And we'll see if we can get it going. It's not liking this thing too much right now. And we'll see. Uh, might have been a good idea to get it better. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Because this is a piece of junk, we're gonna whip out the, the good matches. And I have them. I 
have them in my backpack. And as you can see, these are like wet, waterproof camp matches. And so well, I just dropped all my matches in the water, so that's great. The camera didn't actually see that. Okay. Drop that in there. There's a little match in there. And we'll see if it'll light. It might be a little tough because it does need some oh. kindling. Need some more kindling, which I'm gonna get a little bit more here. With leaves. And I'll just find anything I can pick up over here. Get some more, we'll just stuff it in. Here we'll see if this will light again. And have you strike anywhere? No, these are not strike. Okay. Looks like this is actually working at the moment. Starting to light. There we go. Starting to burn. You can just blow on it to get a little more. A lot of smoke will come out at the beginning. And we're just going to try to keep it burning. And then burn off any of this little stuff. Looks like it's starting, really starting to take off here. Okay. So we got this little water guy right here. You might want to let it go a little bit. And it'll start actually burning. You might need to wait just a few minutes to get it going a little bit more. There it goes. So what you want to do, basically you just want to get oxygen to it. When you put this on top of there, when you put this guy on top of the cans, it's going to cut off the oxygen. Um, if you get it burning hot enough, you'll probably have some luck just putting it on. Um, you may want to blow into it, put some more kindling in it, and then it starts actually burning pretty well. And it'll get quite hot. Um, Put some more stuff in there. Just anything that's there. See if it doesn't burn. And just let it start igniting everything. And you'll get it burning well. This isn't the easiest thing. It's not as good as a alcohol stove it's not as good as a uh, little butane stove but in a pinch something like this can work um, we're basically getting a lot of hot coals in here to start up some of the other stuff um, and keep adding to it probably want to put some other stuff in here It will smoke quite a bit. Okay. Just keep adding to it until it gets hot enough. You will have to do this for a little while as it needs to get hot enough to start really burning.
really want to get it going from the bottom because that's going to be the most, but it's not always easy. We'll just kind of leave this lighter on here. Let's see if we can get this going. Again, it may die a couple of times. So. Just keep the heat on it. And this would be good if you had a fire already going. Um, you could probably put some hot coals in the bottom of it, which would probably be a, a good idea to get it really, really going. You can use the hot coals to, um, to cook as well. want to get as much hot fire in there as you can. Looks like it's really starting to go up here. Blowing a little bit. And here we go, starting to burn the stuff at the top. Okay. Like I said, you can you can use hot, uh, the hot coals to cook. So, ouch, that's a little warm there. Just get a lot of heat in here. Okay, we're starting to... There we go. Now we've got some real fire starting to go. I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but it is really starting to move. Um, it took me about 10 minutes to make it. Um, after I really get it going, it's probably about 15, 10 to 15 minutes to really get it going here. Maybe 10 minutes. Um, and then boiling the water will probably take another 10 minutes or so. Um, you want to, you can start, you should be able to start putting the water on. As you can see now, the water has a bunch of junk in it. So, this isn't something we're going to be using at the moment, but I'll just show you how it will start to warm it. It's actually coming out the sides. The only real bad thing about this is that you have, um, and you may want to lift it up a little bit if you can so that you get some of the heat. Sometimes it will kill, um, it will kill the fire if you don't have enough stuff in there. But this is a pretty good way to heat stuff. And say you're going camping and you already have two of these um, cans. And like me, you don't have enough um, fuel for your stove. This is a pretty good way to um, start it. You can see it's kind of coming out the sides, which isn't a big deal. Um, if you had a longer, longer can right in here, it probably wouldn't come out the sides as much. Um, it's starting to get a little bit hot. It's still, as you can see, still coming out there. Um, you have to keep stoking it um, with more and more. There's a, just a match to put on. It'll burn. And just some other little things you want to get going. Um, and but you do want to keep oxygen on it because, like I said, it's trying to die out. There you go. You just blow on it a little bit to get it really stoked again. One of the best things, like I said, is to keep this actually off of it if you can. Um, it can start to get hot. But um, one of the other pro little problems with the rocket stove on these little aluminum things is you get a lot of smoke junk on it. 
so they're not the best you can clean them off it's not a huge deal um, but if you have something to hold this up this is going to be a lot easier because i'm trying just to hold it up with my hand if you have a pot with a pot holder that's going to work a lot better which i do but i haven't i didn't use for this which is very dumb which i think i'll switch to that at the moment Go. Just a cheapy little pot. We're just, we'll just pour this water right back into here, and now I can actually just hold it over the fire. It's a lot easier than a trying to cook over a fire um, because the flames are just more in one spot, and you're not going to burn your hands if you do have something to hold it with. And so, like I said, it does take a little while. It's not the most efficient, but in a pinch, it can work. It can heat your water. Um, just keep pushing the coals in to keep it keep it going. And I'm sorry it took so long, but you never know. When you experiment, that's what happens sometimes. And as you can see, it's actually, and you may not be able to see it on there, but it's actually starting to boil. So... If you needed um, to make coffee, to make food, whatever you needed to make with this, um, or if you need to boil water to make it usable to drink, this is a great way to do it. If you just somehow found some cans or do have some cans. Um, it's getting really close to boil, so it does burn quite hot with the coals. And... Like I said, you can still see it. Just keep pushing them in with whatever you have. And they'll, right now, it, it'll actually pretty much just stay lit because of all the coals. Um, but sometimes you do have to blow on it a little bit. And we're just about to a boil. You can see it's steaming. It is warm. I can feel the heat coming off of it. And there it goes. Um, another good thing probably to do is to cut some holes. If I would have cut some holes out on the sides some or punched some holes in the sides, it probably would not... Um, be dying out because it does have some oxygen so that's probably one of the other things I would say um, that you should do if if you ever do make one of these stoves and that is how to make a rocket stove from a bunch of trash thank you